inversely, I can understand how people can feel excluded, but I was excluded because of, of what I was called. I think. I really do think so. It's not an intellectual exercise, it's about connecting at a human level and you might not like that you might not like the music don't have anybody that's going to dig mine or not and I don't I mean it's, it's not about that but it's about everybody being the same in sound you know <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Isn't it great? I haven't done the words yet, so. I came here to do a, a cover version of a Dylan song with my friend Ian, who really... Um, I had two very, very different influences, i.e. sort of classical, which is I wasn't trained, because when I got into two schools where I got, fell in love, got married, had children, and he, he wasn't a huge music fan and didn't like classical music, thought it made me depressed, actually made me... Not depressed. I mean, I listened to funeral marches to make me happy, actually. The best thing that ever happened to me was when my Aunt Debo gave me a huge amount when I was, like, 13, 50 quid. Can you imagine getting 50 quid? And you put a walkman? I did. And I just remember, get, I was just like, that was it. It was, it was, like, the best day of my life. And then when it was mm. confiscated at school, and then I ran away. Mm. Because I was so cross with the because teachers. There's a level of freedom in that. that you... I know, because I could check out, you know. Yeah. And, um... But I never really thought about it. I was just, I was always terrified of, because it's, it's different being sort of head of choir or standing up in front of teachers and, and singing or playing. I mean, I, I had an accident with my hands, so therefore I, my piano is not as good as it might have been. It sort of stopped when my, the lawnmower did that one in. But it, um, I'm very lucky to have that finger, actually. I mean, and, um, but I, they, they have different lives. My two hands, I'm sort of he goes, uh, cut to ten years after and I'm living in the rafters. Hamlet for comfort, no, tarot cards for company and Hamlet for laughter. Um, the phantoms are my friend. I would not exchange these strange days in the end. Give it up, give it up. Let's hear it for the trash man. Uh, you were found in the trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my brother always used to tell me. Probably right. I mean, really, I don't fit in the moment. Let's go and see what passing. Yeah. I don't know because I heard. I went to bed. Right? I could hear him speaking. Well. 
Hey, man. Hello. Hey, take the walk on the long side. Oh. I thought it was raining. It was? It was. Now, we can have lunch outside today. I need, to, I need, I need to speak to my agent. I'm, ter- I'm, just, I'm just doing this because I love it, you know. I mean, no one goes into the music industry or actually... What do I mean? What am I? Mean? What am I saying? I don't know anything about the industry. I don't know anything. Any industry. It all seems a bit of a sort of mystery to me. I wish I did know. I mean, they all seem so clever. These people. Yeah. But if you you don't go into music expecting to make any money, you go in it because you love it. And anything else is like you know, that's great. But if not, you know, that's 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 tough. You know, because mm-hmm. that's no big deal. It's uh, I'm not doing this for any other reason than this. It's fun, and I like being with the people I'm with. I mean, you know, I've got. I've got how many studios going on in here? Oh, this is another one I did. This was a very, very... This was something I had to very simple. They're all sort of the same thing, I mean, you know. I'm in the middle of, like, three different albums. I've got finished one, and it's very difficult to let go of that. It's like having like postnatal depression. This is a new vocal. Fasten your seatbelt, you're under assault. Run, 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 fast as you can. You just do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I know certain albums from back to front, you know what I mean? But it's like, that's, it's the experience and it's actually that kind of, you know, you know, if you wanted to skip a track, you had to pick up the needle and put it onto the next groove, groove air. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's like I remember, you know, Abbey Road or something like, or Sergeant. Pa- oh, you know, I'm afraid I, I think I lived in a time delay because of living in a in Cadiz. And but the biggest influences on me were Glenn Gould and the Doors. Oh no. <laughs> like it, it happened kind of by mistake, so I came here by mistake to do this with Ian, mm-hmm. and Ian didn't turn up, and so lovely Pat, after two days of me sort of thinking, sugar, what am I going to do? He hung a mic over my face, ask him, I mean, and that's where that no nirvana of cooldom spilled out from, and funnily enough, I was quoting myself, I was just having a little rant about how I hate reality TV shows and how there's nothing behind celebrity or behind, you know. But it's like, you know, frankly, no, I sound like my mother, but it's like, you know, turn off your TV. It's not fantasy. Executive fantasy, man. I mean, I mean, I've seen it. It's like, what's cool this year? It's not organic. It's nothing to do with inclusiveness. It's just to do with money. And if you listen to that Tom Petty album, he really nails it. And obviously it didn't get any airplay because he says it how it is. They just got good looking kids with a good looking face and they they get to be rich and they get to be famous for a second, but then it's on to the next. They're just ground up into a mill. It's got nothing to do with poetry or I mean if you go back in to to some ancient times, I mean music really was it was telling a story, minstrels, that's a troubadour, so, you know, it's, it's, it should, it's, to me, it's got to go somewhere. I mean, it's, it's, I, I'm not saying that I'm the, the sort of oracle of all oracles, but to me, I, I want to follow something. Okay, so let's go for a walk. Turn off your TV. 
It's not fantasy Executive fantasy Dressed up as reality singing in the forest or wherever when no one could hear me I didn't realise I was so loud but um, and also because I wasn't allowed to sing anywhere um, and also very ashamed you know and also you, you, if you're singing a classical track you're never going to be as good as someone that's been trained if you're singing a, if, when I hear myself singing a classical track and I'm slightly out because I've got Thank God, not perfect, but relative perfect pitch. I know where I'm going, doing it right, wrong, you know. But it's also sometimes that, it's like when I'm putting words down and it's a, it's a thought and you're trying to encapsulate a feeling or or something and, and you don't want to waste a line in a, in a in a song. And sometimes, you know, you just, you're trying to nail a thought with words and to me, sound is much more, um, I think language is very... It's sort of sort of Neanderthal compared to sound because sound to me is is universal, and it communicates, more. communicates. And once you put a, a a word on a sound, that's that's when it all becomes a bit tricky and loaded, you know. And and you can make, you know, it's like and there are some words that have been overused and they've lost meaning, and you know. I have fun doing some internal rhymings, and but they're all very, very different. I mean, I don't think it's going to be anybody's bag, to be quite honest. But I've had a good time doing it, and, I'm, and I can't, I can't stop. Very odd thing is that I'm very. What I practice to normally is um, castrati, like brushy. Wow. record label thank goodness I don't have I, I haven't had to have that pressure because I didn't mean to do this yeah. 
um, we'll send out a song to a visual person and they'll come up with, they'll try and come Flash up with an idea. With evening in space. Precisely. And I didn't think he'd, I, mean, I was like, I was thinking, you like this track? This is very, very odd, you know, because he, yeah. he was someone who never wanted to do any music video again. And you couldn't get a better visual guy than David, could you? No, really not. And you know what? And the way he shoots is really so much fun. I mean, I was covered in but I mean, but we always, we always end up with Pickle Us too, because we're brothers. <laughs> Well, the ones that are flawed are his stills, but he also doesn't ever do, do stills normally. And he did so many stills, and also there were, I think there were seven, seven or eight sets. And did it in three and a half weeks. I mean, just like from, I said yes, and then we did that. And he's like, he just got, I mean, that's a level of trust because he, you know, it's, it, it's he, he's, he's invested himself in that, and all of his friends, and the people that work for him. And yes, it, it you know, it was it's a different process from Fatal Fall because we did, I did that sort of on the fly. It was a whole different thing. But also, I mean, Nick connecting with that track that. So, I mean, you know, whether, if, if, my, my mission is to get sound and vision undivorced because I think that, you know, at the moment you've got, like, sound, people go to see a show or see music. Now, I, I think it's an auditory, I may be wrong, but I think it's a, it's a, uh, it's, you know, I think they need to be undivorced because something happened. It seems to be the bigger the visual to cover up the sort of like the Lack kind of, of monopoly. I mean, yeah. But also, I mean, you know, I think people have come to expect, you know, you've got to have, you know, this, that and the other. In fact, when you, I mean, I, I've said it before, I go to, I, I want to go to any old sleazy joint and just have a nice time. I don't mind, you know, I, I sang in cafes when I was a, yeah. a teenager when people would, you know, when I, I was needed to. And I don't mind if I'm singing to one waiter. As long as you're with, you're with your band and having a nice time. It's not about being famous or something. That's the least good part. I mean, not that I am, thank goodness. But I mean, I can't, just, that's isolating and horrible. Mm -hmm. but the thing about music is it's, it's much less isolating than anything else. Love is a sort of deadly nightshade. It makes your eyes bright, intrigued, defied. In time, love divine, love divine. <gasps> All I aim to do is carry on being in the process because that means I don't have to come deal with any I think a lot of releases. people want you to actually finish something, wrap it up in a little bow, and present it so that they can enjoy it. I think that, that I. I I have been called selfish, that you know, and sort of like well, you have to share this with the world. And I'm like thinking, actually, the world doesn't care that much about me. It I, is good, though. It is good. I, I, I'm happy with it, and I wasn't happy with you know. I'm so I'm so sort of super self-critical. I beat myself up all the time about tones, and I'm very very. I'm probably maybe too tough on myself about things, yeah. but um, but they're good enough for me. And that's why I love music, is because it, you can connect with people on, the, on, a very, on a very real level. In music we're all the same, in sound we're all the same. It's about everybody being the same in sound, you know? Rather than it being about either money, class, race, religion or anything else. I mean, you're either, you're either in the moment or you're not. It's, sort of, it's, it's the last level of society, I think. I really do think so.
I get tired when I see you go by. My oh my, when you smile on my insides just cry. For the blind, why am I so to learn it back you? It's only God, I'm recording you, Daphne. Do you mind? No. <laughs> Rampage is at the back. Stop.